All right, what is up, my peeps? So, uh, so today we're gonna finish up the Mustang, and by finishing up, I mean like tying together a couple things. What we're gonna do is first we're gonna properly wire this because uh, there's just a bunch of wires that we're using for testing and stuff like that. Properly wire that. Then we are going to run those wires through here. We're going to make that dash plate. We're going to make the dash plate for the skin, which is over here. So we're going to bang, make the plate for that. I already have it marked out. So we just need to cut it. You can like see that bottom line there. Um, and then put the gauges in. Then we got to wire up the gauges to the light switch so that when I turn the lights on, my dash lights come on and stuff like that. Then from there, we just need to put the mounts on the rad. And then she's basically done. We'll let her run for a little bit because when you redo an engine, there's all that assembly loop grease and all those uh, metal shavings and stuff like that from um, the, there being no lube on like the uh, components. So you need to run it for about like an hour, then drain it, then put some new oil in, and then um, once the new oil's in, then you know you change it again after, well, we're gonna do it after one event. Let it run, then once it's done, oil's in, oil level's good. Take everything out. Ooh, we need to put the, the cotter pin through this uh, outer tie rod so it doesn't fall off. And then once that's done, um, yeah, then we can put the dash on, put that cluster on, put the gauges on, put the seats in. We just need to tighten one of the fittings underneath the car over there. And she, oh, then we need to figure out the brake lights. So the brake lights aren't turning on right now. Um, and on the computer, it says that the brake pedal is engaged. So we need to figure out why it's saying it's engaged and why there's no signal to the brake lights. Um, hopefully it's not like they're just not plugged in. I mean, hopefully that is it because then it's just a simple fix. You just plug it in, boop. But uh, yeah, so then we can tighten these back wheels because they're not actually tight and on. Hopefully she's ready to run today. She's, well, she's running either way. Hopefully she's ready to go on the ground and be done. All she has to do is go for a tune, which is happening next weekend because uh, we need to figure out why she's backfiring so much um, because like I said before, it's kind of cool, but when you're waiting at the track in line and the car's just going bop, 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 it's kind of annoying. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to get to work right now. I'm going to start doing things so that it's not later in the day when all this stuff is done. So I'm going to start by, uh, I'm going to start by figuring out the brake light situation so that we can, you know, figure out what's wrong with that and then wire this stuff there. And then once that's done, then we will do the dash. So, the only issue for the brake lights was... Is that the fuse was blown. Now, for the brake lights in this car, this is the fuse. So, I put that in, and now... The turn signal's working and everything, but they're only working for this light. So, I gotta see if maybe the bulbs are damaged in this light, um, and then maybe have to replace them with the ones that were in the other one. So, actually I can't even because those bulbs were smashed. Anyways, I gotta see why this one isn't getting any signal for like turn signal and brake light and stuff like that. So I'm gonna look for the issue there. I gotta pull the brake light out, or this light out. So I gotta take this bolt, this one, that one up there, and that one out to get this out. Once I pull that out, then we'll take a look and we'll see what the issue is. All right guys, so I figured out the problem. I never plugged this connector in. I forgot to run it through one of these holes. I forgot what hole, oh, that one. I forgot to run it through there and plug it into here. So I was like, huh, this, maybe all the bulbs are broken, but it's not, I just forgot to put this connector in. So I'm gonna take this connector, run it through there, plug it in, put that back on, see if she works. All right, so the brake light works. So I have, I have a little stick holding the brake pedal down that's connected to a bolt over there that's keeping everything in check for me. But yeah, this brake light works. That brake light works. That one works. Both turn signals work. 
So uh, now when we're tandeming, people can uh, see when I'm braking. So yeah, so now I'm just gonna bolt this light in and then we'll move on to doing the plate for the dash skin. All right, so I went ahead and I cut out the piece that I'm gonna need. Um, I didn't show you guys how I cut it because my methods are a little unorthodox and uh, probably not the safest, but um, whoop, I gotta get past that wing. But yeah, so it's cut out. Now, so as you can see, it kind of, uh, yeah, it kind of fits in there. This edge might have to get cut down a little bit. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to cut a little bit here so that pops right in. And what we have to do, so I'm gonna have to cut a little bit right here because as you can see, it's not straight and it uh, kind of causes this to squish in there. This side looks okay as long as we cut just a little bit off there. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna cut just that off. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll refit it. All right, perfect. So we shaved this corner down a little bit and now it fits in there. So the next thing we need to do, I'll just show you guys. So this plate is what holds the gauges in. Now if you look, the top, right, is bent. So that's what's supposed to be screwed in. So what we're gonna do is, up here, we're gonna roll the top so that these sit on top and we can drill them in and then our gauges are right up top. And then that means we're gonna have to cut, I was gonna cut the three, oh. I was gonna cut the three individual holes, but seeing as I don't have that drill bit, um, what I'm gonna do is just cut a square and then so that there's just open exposure so that when this is in, it just, the gauges can go through. So that's the next thing we're gonna work on. And then from there, we're gonna just drill holes, put the switches through so that we have like a race car switch panel now. So I'm gonna get on that and I'll show you guys what I did. All right, so we bent that lip right there. So now the gauge can sit and be screwed in right there. So now all we have to do is cut a square above those gauges down here and try to get it so that this plate covers up everything. Um, but, you know, may not look perfect, but it'll look good enough. I mean, hopefully. So yeah, I'm gonna get to cutting that square out so the gauges can sit in there. And then once it looks good, like once those are out, then we can self-tapper those th four holes so that this plate stays on there and then we can put the gauges in. All right, so that's what the hole looks like. I know it's not great, but when you put the plate over, hides a lot of it. You can only really see, but when you put the plate on, you can only see that and like that nick there. So I'm happy with that, honestly. So I'm gonna tap, self tapper this in and then we can see how the gauges fit. All right, so we got the gauge bracket on there. Self tappers on top. Looks kind of ugly. I'm probably gonna paint it. I'm probably gonna paint this blue. Keep this black, so I'll take these self tappers off. But um, let's go see if the gauge fits. All right, so the gauge fits in that one. Gauge also fits in that one. Doesn't fit in this one because of this. So, I'm gonna have to uh, persuade that to work a little bit. All right, so I persuaded that one to fit. Just bent it out of the way a little bit. You can see, it's like that uh, great, but um, this plate covers up most of it with the gauges in. You can't see any of it. So that's cool. So um, let's go mock it up to the dash skin. Hmm, so the problem we're having here so these corners, because it's now bent, do not fit in here. So what I'm gonna have to do is just zoop, cut that there, cut that there, and it should go in. All right, so she fits in there now, 
but as you can see I cut off a little bit too much what I should have just cut off is that notch there so that the plate is still covered up there so there's a little bit of that there but you know what it's okay um, so now all we have to do is drill a couple holes um, so that we can put those bolts through to hold it on and then we might cut it right here because it'll make it easier to put on and it'll let the brake lines run underneath here um, without any issue because remember they run under here um, so when it's on it's going to be a little bit too long here so if we cut it right there it should work perfectly with that we'll take these switches out and we'll relocate them onto the panel um, but yeah so everything's looking pretty good so far um, yeah we just need to so all we need to do is just cut that drill it on and then I believe those two gauges are hooked up properly we just need to get wire so that the bulbs will light up um, when we flick the light switch on uh, and then the voltmeter gauge we just need to hook up to a uh, we'll probably just tap into the one that's on that gauge um, just so that it works a bit like so that's getting the same reading on both um, but yeah so that's what we'll do for that so I'm gonna get to it We're making pretty good progress right now we fix the brake lights doing this once this is done wire that up yeah, we're making pretty good progress right now. We fixed the brake light issue, and I'm just gonna go ahead and get this work done. So I will update you guys. All right, so it's in, but I had to put two to self tappers here because when the plate went in, this would flex up, and I wanted my gauges to be secure to this panel. And then we got the two holding it down. So now that's set. So now it's a uh, now it's a um, gauge cluster holder and switch panel. So I'm super stoked about that because now, now the car will look more race car than before. So that's a bonus, bonus. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take this panel off and I'm gonna take the gauge bracket off so that I can paint this panel this blue. And then that we need to paint blue and then I need to paint that top strut brace blue as well. So I'm gonna do both those at the same time. I'm going to get to wiring this car up because I hate wiring and it's probably going to take a while so I need to get my head in the game. I need to get into that mentality of uh, wiring. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit here. Okay, so so far the wiring's going good. We wired up the headlights. Oh, that's, sh oh, that's shorting. Yeah, still works. We wired up the fan for the the switch for the fan now I need to wire up the gauges so the lights work and then once that's done then I can drill out the holes and put this them in the switch panel but right now I need to go to Canadian Tire and get some wire and some um, like butt connectors and those type of connectors and stuff and you go quick because Canadian Tire closes soon so I'll be right back okay so we're back uh, I got wire stuff Steph is doing a livery on his car um, and then Jacob's fixing his horn properly. Um, but what I'm doing right now is one, I blew this fuse, so I gotta replace that. And then we gotta wire up these lights, um, so that when I flick that switch on, which turns on my interior lights, those come on. So I'm gonna get to doing that. When that's done, then we will move on. So, how productive it was today? Uh, really, really good. We fixed the brake lights. We made the dash uh, switch panel. We are almost done wiring up all the gauges. And uh, Jacob rewired the uh, front engine harness, so I don't have to worry about that. Slowly coming together. Yeah, she's, she's almost there. It's too bad that we're not gonna make it to round one of Evergreen, so. When's that? Uh, just, she won't be tuned by then, we don't really have a truck right now or a trailer, so... No, but when is that actual event? Oh, that's, uh, in two days. Oh, yeah, so, no, I'd, I'd agree in saying that it won't be ready for that. 
That's a fair assessment. That means going into round two, we're going to be at the bottom, but that just means we get to drive more and hopefully get more points that shoot us up there. Okay, so the dash is in, cluster's in, steering wheel's on, just because I like the steering wheel on. Um, I didn't put the panel on because I'm going to paint it tomorrow. So once I paint it, then I can put the gauges and everything on there and then tuck the wires properly. And then Cody did that. Looks freaking pristine. Uh, what else? Jacob tucked a bunch of these wires. Um, fixed that leak down there. So uh, she was trying to play. All right, so and that's gonna be it for today. Ahead, I'm gonna so close out here out while they're all talking in the back. Um, so Three go like the video. Much. Go subscribe. Cody, what should they do? Hit the bell. Bro, I'm Hit that bell. TV here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, peace out, see you tomorrow.